Taurus, this is your reading for the first half of March 2020. Um, I'm going to do a reading for all of you who are either interested in somebody romantically, thinking of someone and that person does know you, um, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're in a breakup situation, whether it's a situationship. So I'll be using the Goddess Oracle deck and uh, it's a romantic, it's for romance and love by Amy Marashinsky. And let's start. Okay. So Taurus, let's see for you, what is the person that you're desiring on a romantic level? What it is that they're thinking about you? What are their feelings towards you? What are their feelings towards you? Doubt. So, whatever's going on, there seems to be a bit of a trust issue here. Okay, doubt. Responsibility is the next card. Selfhood. Awakening, so that's more of a tower moment card. Love. Hallelujah. That's good. That's good, guys. It's always nice to see this card. It's a beautiful card. I love this deck. Um, the illustrations uh, by Hrana Janto. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but they are so gorgeous. I love it. I just love looking at the cards sometimes. I just feel like framing some of them. Okay, so that's kind of funny. With uh, with love comes fear, but this in this sense would be love is anxiety. This person loves you so much that you make them nervous. You give them a lot of anxiety. <clears throat> Pleasure. And also their feeling for Taurus. <coughs> Sorry. What else are they feeling for Taurus? Oh my, there's like three of them here. I don't want to take out three, but I have to. Illness and wellness. The relationship card. Order. And sensuality. Okay, guys. So, Taurus, it seems like a, a few more came out, so I will be reading these as well. Um, so it seems like the person, the situation that you're in, there's some doubt, there's lack of trust. Um, somebody may have lied to somebody about something or hid the truth. Um, maybe somebody wasn't clear about something and now whoever found out that truth, they want to take responsibility and make things right. They were only doing it because they thought that one of you is... Uh, in essence, single, you might not be able to handle the truth. Um, but now it's come, there's an awakening. Um, it seems as if this person has realized that, wait a minute, uh, the truth does matter. And they want to come clean because they've fallen in love with you, Taurus. The love is so real and so strong for them that it creates fear in their heart and in their mind. It makes them anxious, gives them anxiety. They have some fond memories of you and with you, or they find that if they were to be with you, there would be a lot of pleasure. This is the pleasure card. A lot of pleasure. This is mostly sexual based. Um, but mostly it's sexual based, but there's also a sense of nurturing, also a sense of belonging to someone. And they feel that you have the power to make them ill and well. So you have this particular power over them and there may be a sense of guilt um, because they want to take responsibility of something that they hid from you. 
they have come to the realization now that they want a relationship. This is a relationship card. They want a relationship with you because they love you. And they think it would be very pleasurable being in your company. They want to create a relationship because everything has turned into chaos. This is the card order. For me, this card means that there is chaos currently around the situation and they want to bring everything together and make things right. So they want to make order out of chaos. That's what they want. Under the bottom of the deck is sensuality. This person is very, very attracted to you. So attracted. But it's not just lust. It's a spot between lust and love. A little closer to love. I don't know how I can put that in any other words. If there was a scale, I should have a scale here. But it's not because I do have the sexuality card, which means, you know, it could be just sexuality. It can be just, you know, sex, just materialistic, only lust. No, this is actually in between. This person actually wants a relationship with you. They have love for you. They want a relationship. They find you pleasurable and they find you very sensual. Um, you have... You've got this person on a hook. They really are in love with you. Mm-hmm. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> so, the next deck I'm just going to use to see what it is that this person, what actions is this person going to take in the first half of March towards you, Taurus. Dear Archangel Michael Raphael, and Gabriel, please guide me and protect me through this reading. Please let me know what it is that the person of interest in romantically what is this that they're going to, what steps are they going to take in actions towards Taurus in the first half of March? Okay, the Hierophant. All right. The Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups. This is coming out. Oh, okay. And Ace of Wands. That's amazing. Under the bottom of the deck is Six of Pentacles. Okay, guys, so it seems like this person had an epiphany. Poof, their mind just exploded. They're like, oh my God, I love Taurus. Um, so what action, they're not going to take too much action in the, like first. They're actually very much in their head. They're just waiting to see what happens next, um, the hangman. So they're just waiting around, observing, um, making plans thinking about strategies. They're also in the mood to be in a relationship that is society can accept. It's traditional. It's commitment. They want to do that with you. Like they want to be in that type of an, um, an arrangement with you. They want to come back to you. They may even apologize to you and they might do it um, very sheepishly. So, um, if they are nervous, guys, because it did say that this person is nervous and they may have lied to you or may have hid something from you, be very gentle with this person. They, they are very sweet. This person is very sweet. They want you, and the Queen of Cups, they want you unconditionally. They love you. They want you so bad, and it's not just about the sex. However, the Ace of Wands popped out here. And for me, and for many, this is the Passion card. It is related to divine intervention. Somebody showing that they really want you. They want you sexually. They desire you. <clears throat> There's something about you that just lights this person's like life up. Like, you just, the passion is just so much. But w along with the passion, you have the love too. The emotional connection, the emotional love, which is really amazing. That's a really good combo. They want to take you out on a date. They want to go out with you. So do provide this person with an opportunity, Taurus. Um, be open to the situation because they're going to try their best and they're going to want, they're going to want to be with you. They want, they want to be with you and they feel bad for whatever happened in the past. They, um, they do feel that there may have been things. They want to take responsibility for what happened. And, of course, giving a second chance. You know, if you love this person, if you want to be with this person, why not? 
So these, this deck is Angel Answers by Doreen Virtues, the Oracle card. So I'm just going to pull out three just to see what it is <coughs> that you need to know. Let go. That's the first card. Let go. If you believe is a second card. Not the right time. <laughs> well, that's okay. Not the right time and perfect timing, guys. Make up your mind. Um, one more just for clarification. Trust. Okay, I got that. I understood that now. Um, reconsider. Okay, this is a little bit more complex. Usually I don't get these many cards. Okay, so the angels are guiding Taurus, you guys, to let go of not the situation because the way the reading went is let go of the fact that there were um maybe lies betrayal there were there was information that was not given to you so forgive this person let go of it whatever happened in the past is in the past because this person really does genuinely love you everything will work out if you believe in it you have to give that positive energy you have to be open to it you can't be closed off because it's not going to come to you it does say it's not the right time and then perfect timing. However, upon clarifying these, the card came as trust. That's a divine being. There's Jesus and there's a guru underneath. All of these guys are ascended masters. So for sure, trust in what the divine has planned out for you. Let go of what no longer serves you the way that you were thinking in the past because there is going to be perfect timing. It might not be now. It might not be in the beginning of March, guys. It might not be the right time then. But later on, there will be perfect timing because you need to trust in whatever deities you do, whatever positive energy you trust in, trust that it's going to work out because it will work out but it's going to be timely it's it might take some time but it will happen and then the bottom of the deck is reconsider so there may be something that you're maybe a strategy right uh, the let go card maybe there's a strategy or something you're thinking of you know you should approach it this way it just says reconsider so whatever actions you're going to take be very careful what you do um actions and words mean a lot uh from what I see, your reading is very beautiful. Um, this person really does um, desire you. It's like they're just, you know, they're hiding. They're very shy. Um, they're very, they're sweet. They might be slightly mature. Um, uh, they don't really know how to express themselves very well. But eventually, just be very gentle with this person because they'll open up. They'll come out of their shell. And Taurus, that's about it. I hope some of you, a few of you, a whole lot of you resonated with this. Um, I appreciate all the support I've been getting and um, I do personal readings as well um, for career as well as health and um, I'm not bragging but they're very accurate just to let you know so you can always reach out to me by Gmail and I will see you guys in mid-March take care and God bless bye then